can't live on daffodils. Oh, we could try. We could try anything. Proper food. I'll go into the town. No, no, you won't. There'll be something in the houses there. Yes, with cholera and typhoid. You won't go into town. Listen to me, Wendy. We have lasted so long. Have you... Have you tried the house I see from my room? I've been round all the houses twice. So much alive. Everything is living. Why can't we? I'm going. No, no, wait. We shall have... We shall have more nettles and dandelions for soup. We shall live another day. I need food. But you can't walk to town. I walked here. Yes, but you were strong then. If I find anything, I'll stop and come back. Find anything. Anything. And look, take this. It may be raining. Wendy, if you could throw a stone at some of those birds. Not a crow, a pigeon, a fat pigeon. I'll try again. I'll go through the wood. There might be something. Oh, I know I'm no use. No use at all. Wendy! You will come back. Yeah, I'll come back. I... I need you. I need you. It was nice of her. That's much better. You know you're supposed to talk politics while you're trimmed, don't you? Tomorrow we're going to wash everyone's hair. So that the bugs don't get in. And you're next for a haircut, young man. Hey, are you two ready? Well, how do I look? Funny. Funny? No, you don't. Shall I pair? Yes. You've all been much nicer than usual. We've come to a decision. The grown-ups had a long talk last night. And we've decided that I'm not going to look for Peter anymore. That's why I ditched the Land Rover. Instead, we're going to find somewhere to live. A house? Or a farm. A castle? Maybe. Oh, it's somewhere safe, where we can grow food and keep animals. And hens for eggs. And cows and sheep and pigs. And we'll gather more people and more children. Maybe Peter will come. Maybe. Why fill up before we need to? And cabbage too, I suppose. No, we're out of cabbage. You're going to be sorry you left that cabbage field. I shan't. Rabbit and cabbage. 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 Be quiet. Come on, Tiddlers. Come to Papa. Oh, you booty. You booty. Come here, man. Come. Come back, man. Not know that. Do you want a bit of fish, do you? Uh, I've got some here. Oh, a girl, is it? Had the disease of you? Yeah. I got better. Yes, well, I can see that, can't I? But uh, you, you don't mind me fishing yet, do you? You caught anything? Have I? Look, come on. I was after a big one like that. You scared him off. He was that size. Sorry. What, what, what's your name? Wendy. 
Oh, aye. On your own, are you? Yeah. I'm with an old woman. Hmm. You catching some more? Oh, I might. I might. You want some? Yeah, I'm starving. Hmm. Well, now, you see, I'm a kind of merchant, see? I, I, I get things for people, what they want. Then they give me what I want, see? I, I got a fan over there. Yes, I saw. You, you, uh, you want me to catch some more fish? I need to go back. Look, that old lady, now, where does she live? Oh, about a mile, in a cottage. Oh, over there. You, uh, what will you give me for them? Well, then. I'll walk further on. No, I tell you now, I'll give you them. Because I'm a kind man, see? I'm kind-hearted. We'll, we'll be kind to each other, shall we? Mm. I tell you what, I got a good idea. I'll build a fire, and then I'll cook these, and you can have one, and I love the other. Hmm? <laughs> Those dogs, they'll be starving too. A change of plan. Yeah, you take this, and, and we'll gather all this stuff up, see? And then we'll go to the van. Come on! Come on, quick! Come on to the van, hurry up! Well, you'll have to be quick! Regulations? Well, what quarantine regulations? I mean, how many hundreds, thousands have got away from ports or airports? What's rabies? It's a disease that the dogs might have. Just one bite, even a small scratch. Well, there's no cure now. Jenny, give me the gun. Look, Abby, we've only got five cartridges left. Well, then drive through them. Okay, kids, get your heads down. Don't look. You ready? Yes. <laughs> Must have heard. It's all right, kids. They've gone. There must be something along the road. Something tastier than us. Hey, Ben! 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 Ah, he's gone off with his friends. He'll be killed. You know, there could be sheep up there. Well, if we followed, we might be able to get one. And Ben. It's risky. Oh, well, anyway, who wants roast lamb? Me! Thank you. 
Are you all right? Yes. Were you bitten? Do you understand me? Uh, yes. Bitten? No, I don't think so. Good. Well, let's get you inside. Oh, are you alone? Oh, oh, Wendy! Wendy! Wendy, she's out there! I heard the dog, sir! I came to call her! Yes, well, you can she's... tell me all about it. Come on, let's get you inside. My friends will be back for us soon. Friends? Yes, in the bus. Come on. That's all right. Come on. Crazy, Abby. Mm, braver than me. Oh, yeah, and me too. But how do we get back to her? We'll have to find a side road and circle round. Could you get the map? Mm. What's my phone? He's lost. Oh, well, never mind. He'll be happy with his new friends. Now. Now, where are we? Uh, there, look. No, 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 we're up further there. Oh, well, there's a river. Did we come by a river? Are we lost? No, no, no. There's a big house. Can we get to that? Oh, we can try it. Can you tell me where to turn off this road? Yes. What sort of old woman is she, then? Funny. She goes on about the past, about her sons and her grandchildren, when she was a young mum. Sounds boring for you. Well, she goes on a bit. Well, I tell you now, forget her. You, you know, I, I said I deliver things for people. Well, people pay me for delivering, see? So I'm a rich man, I'm very rich. I, I've got my own place, and it's a lovely place. So... Stay with me. I've got to go back. Why? You know, you you could be like a like a princess. I'll get some more wood. I bet you're hungry, aren't you? Well, it won't be two texts now. You should see the food I got in my place, man. Turkeys and chickens and hams and apples. And you're a pretty little girl. You know that, don't you? You... Gone. She stole my fish. Hi! to that old woman. She lives in the cottage down the road. <laughs> that girl, boy. She's no red reader not. Oh. Are you feeling better? Yes. It could have been worse, you know. It's a pity. 
What is? That it wasn't worse. You know, you are the first person I have seen for three months, apart from Wendy. I should have gone with the others. What others? My whole family. My sons. The children. Are you thirsty? Yes. Hungry and thirsty. There's boiled water over there. Did you live here? It was my son's cottage. He was a surveyor. And this was their weekend cottage. Oh, thank you. You see, he, he brought me over here to make it ready for them. They were all coming to escape the fever. But there was no escape. I had a phone call from a neighbor of my son in town to tell me that they... they all... And, and then the neighbors here. And then Wendy came walking and she told me that everybody was dead. She's such a nice girl. She stayed with me. We are together now. What do you live on? Well, we went to other people's houses. There aren't too many here, but Wendy went further. But they are all empty now. And then we, we have eaten from the gardens and the dandelion soup and nettle soup and dandelion soup again. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's out with the basket now. got a gun. I'm going to go out and shoot something for food. You could put a bullet in me if I would be tender enough. <laughs> I don't think you would be. <laughs> What's your name? Abby. Abby. Were you married? Yes. Any children? A son. Um, my name is Emma. Emma Cohen. Wendy calls me Mrs. Cohen, but she's very young. <laughs> Well, you are alive, Mrs. Cohen. Yes, I am alive. <laughs> you know, if I had been savaged by dogs like I was before the fever, I would have died of fright. I used to be frightened of everything in my life, of one thing or another. But now, since the worst has happened to everybody, I'm not frightened anymore. <laughs> so you have a sleep, and I'll go and get my gun. Your hands up, missus. Now back against the wall. Go on. There you are. Now. Uh, have you got a pistol? No. Ah. Now, who's inside the cottage? An old woman. Has she got a gun? No. Oh, well, now, move away from the window. Go on. Now then. Now, one false move and I'll blow you up. So careful. What's the matter with her? She was attacked by dogs. Oh, yes, we heard them. We? Me? Me, I heard them. You're on your own? Yes, yes, you might say that. Tom Price. Hey? You deserted us, didn't you? Did I? You went over to Wormley and his thugs. I'll be grand. Right. Can I put my hands down now? Oh, yes, yes, but no, careful, see. Uh, have you seen anything of Wormley and his thugs? No. Have you? No, no. What are you doing here, then? Just passing. Oh, I. So you've left the gang, have you? I'm no gangster, see. I'm a merchant now. I, I get things for people, and, and people give me things in, in gratitude. Is there anything I can get for you or, or the old woman? Food. Oh, food, is it? Yes. Yeah, I can supply that. We're very hungry. Yes, you look hungry. What's in the van, Tom? 
Yeah, well, what's in the van is mine, see, and I, I give it out very, very carefully. Tom? Aye. Tom, there's a pigeon over there. Maybe there is. Oh, there is. Why didn't you go over and get it? Be because you'd play some tricks. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Look, do you want me to come with you for the pigeon? I, I might. Or oh, the old woman, in case she plays some tricks too. Look, Tom, we're hungry. Look, why don't I get into the van and drive off and leave you? Because you need me. You're no good on your own. I, I'm, I'm all right. Well, Bo, I've got some more cartridges in the van. Uh, tell me, now what do I get if I bring you a pigeon? Company. Aye, uh, well, I want more than that, see? Got one. Now, Abby only had two cartridges. So who's shooting? And where is Abby? Oh, the are up in about then. Is that Mr. Price? Yeah, well, I told you, didn't I, see? I told you I'd get one. Well, <gasps> it's not much for three of us. But I will make it into soup. The fire is on. Uh, steady on. Why should I give it up? What are you going to pay me? Pay you? Tom was hoping that I'd give him some favours in return for food. You dare. I dare, Mrs. Of course I dare. But fever, she said. So you can pay up, or else I'll be off. Oh, no, don't go, Tom. I don't see anything wrong with it either. I mean, fair deal. I? You mean, you mean, you mean it'll be all right? Yes. Well, you're a lonely man, Tom. I don't trust Darcy. It's because you're on your own, Tom. Pack it, go on. But... Go on, missus, get on with it. I'll tell you, you're not going to get many favours for that. Am I not? You'll have to do better than that. I got some more stuff in the van. Beans and pickles. Oh, Tom. Beans and pickles? Yes. I'm going to get them now. Hey, no, no, stop there. Now, I said I didn't trust you. Sorry, Tom. Now, get back over there. Over there, quick. Don't move now, now. I'm watching you now. Yes. 
And don't forget I'm watching you. I'm thinking of the favors, Tom. Yes, yes, well, so am I. Just stay there now. Don't you move a muscle. Jenny? What? I think they've gone. I think the dogs have gone. Just hope there's some food in here. There's no sign of them. I hope they'll light a fire soon and we'll see the smoke. What? What time is it? You, you can let me out now. I'm a dying man. I'm dying, yeah. Hello, please. It's morning. What's in those boxes? Quick.
kitchen. Oh, one of them. There's no food, just some salt. Oh, it's damp. What a peculiar place. Yeah, but a shelter. Yeah, but this room's different from all the rest. Yeah, I think someone did some modernising. There's something there that doesn't need gas or electricity. Ooh. There's some anthracite. Yeah, there's a big pile of it outside. But we can't light the fire. Not during the day, anyway. Just in case it attracts whoever was doing the shooting. No fire. Ah, oh, come on. We don't need a fire to survive. Just got a place safe. Oh, what a dump. No, 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 no. Could be worse. There's a big tank of oil outside, probably used for central heating. There's a lot of paraffin. Whoever lived here only used a few of the rooms. The rest of the place is absolutely empty. Oh, well. The children are still asleep. Oh, that's good. The longer the better. I can't bear them being so hungry. Right. Will you put your boots on and we'll go and see what we can find to eat? All right? Mm. Gardens around here. Sort of walled in, pretty overgrown. Still, we might find something. Oh, they're awake. I look, it's all right, I'll go back. You know what you're looking for. Look, stay within the walls. Don't go too far. Daddy? Mummy? Mummy, where are you? Mummy? Daddy? Mummy? Daddy, where are you? <laughs> Don't cry. I'll look after you. She won't be long. Please, I'm hungry. So am I. Yes, well, I am too. But there's a wood not very far from here, and I'm going to go off and see if I can snare a deer. I wish we had a gun. Yes. But we haven't got one. to stay here. Well, why? Wouldn't you like to? Well, we have something to eat. Yeah, well, look. Have you ever seen anyone pull their thumb off? See? Now, can you do that? Now, what's Mummy found? Sausage and mash. Toast and marmalade. Rolls and coffee. Any more? No. Right. Well, I'm going to snare a deer, and then we'll have venison. And a turkey. And an ostrich. Ooh. Yeah, well, I'll be back soon. And look, why don't you all go exploring? There's lots of rooms to look into. See if you can find an old wire coat hang. Work out if you can make a fishnet from it. How? Well, with a string vest or some wire netting or an old T-shirt. There's a river out there. There might be some fish in it. Yes, but they might be poisoned. Remember those trout? No, no it's a fast-running stream straight from the mountains. And where there's no money, there's no muck.
Who are you? The dogs. It, it were the dogs. Well, it, it were the dogs. I come in here. Who are you? What's your name? Barney. Do you live here? Well, the dogs. I don't think it's much use. Well, the little girl, she cried, but not hurt. Not, not hurt her. All right, all right, all right. The dogs hurt. Hurt me. You mean you were bitten? Bitten? How long ago? How long ago were you bitten? I don't know. It's very dirty. Yeah, but is it infected? It seems dry enough. Ten days? I don't know. We must have some hot water. Oh, well, that's it then. We light the stove. If we're lucky. Pigeon for lunch. Look, one of you give me a hand with this gate. And then, Abby, drive straight into the courtyard. You may not have been the only one to have seen that smoke. Lazy, good for nothing. We've still got the gun. Price! Price! I'm going to unbolt this door. Now, I've got a gun here. I want you to throw yours out and then come out yourself, nice and slowly. Now, do you understand? Yes, yes, anything. Right. What the hell's all this? Arsenal? Are those worms? Aye. Well, well, well... Did you steal them? No, well, to, no, no, to tell you the truth... Hey, are they after you? Well, well, no, I tell you the truth. It was like this, you see. I, That's good, I need. I was driving along and... Well, well, well. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Kern. I can't remember when I tasted anything better. Mm, that was absolutely nothing. And thank you too, Tom, for being so generous. Oh, that's all right, man, just... A few tins, like. What about John? He found some wonderful herbs. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll really show you if I have anything fresh to cook. Well, we might have caught something in the snares by then. Snares? 
That's right, boy. Good lad. And now, of course, we've got plenty of ammunition. Cartridges. The money of the future. You mark my words. Tomorrow, children. Tomorrow. Mm. You know, I don't see any reason why there shouldn't be plenty of fish in that river. Fish and chips. We need potatoes for chips. <laughs> anymore, does it? She won't be coming around the mountains or anything like it. Oh, quite an audience. And now there are nine. So what do we do? Stay on here? Keeps the dogs out. I wish Ben would come back. So do I. If he does, you're not to go near him, do you understand? Why? And you're to call one of us. Why? No, it's all right. The dogs haven't got rabies. If they had, well, Barney would be really sick by now. Well, let's move on, then. This place gives me the creeps. I mean, you'd rather stay in the bus or the tent? Well... Now, look, we can't have another night like last night. I've got to settle. Well, it, it's nice and snug here, and, and you can defend it, too. But better than Warmley's place. I'm going to take this area down to the river. Mm -hmm. I want you two to go through the garden and cover the hill on the other side. I do, Greg, boy. And don't just put these down anywhere. I want them set by well-established rabbit runs. Now, don't worry, Greg, boy. You're talking to an expert. Uh -huh. Well, let's have a look at your hands. Aye. Come on. Oh. Now, when did you last wash them? Well, I don't get a chance, see? I mean, there's no point in those Look, the rabbits will smell you a mile off. Now, before you set these, rub your hands in the earth. And that's all the rabbits will smell. Now, that's a good tip, Greg boy. Now, that's a good tip. We'll remember that. We'll remember that, Greg boy. You know all you see. Too clever by half. You stick with me, Barney boy. You won't go far wrong. Come on, Barney. Ah, ah, no. Now, here's a good place. Now, this is a good place, Barney. Now, shh. Don't make a noise, see? You make a noise and they, and they hear you, see, and keep away. Now, this is what we do. See? Now, we take this, we lay it across there. Yes, and... Oh, you don't want to worry about Mr. Noel, man. He's what you call an amateur. It's experience that counts. Now, I'll tell you now. I've caught more ra rabbits than he's had hot dinners. I'm famous for this, see? I made a name for myself back. Do you know what they used to call me back home? Tom Turhur. Tom the Mola. Mole catcher. It's Welsh. It, it... Oh, it doesn't matter. Now, there, you lay this down. Now, we tie this securely, see? Across there. A horse? The... No, it's not a horseman. It's rabbits we're after. It's too small for a horse. Horse? Oh, well. He thinks we're after catching a horseman. Now, hold this. Horse tail. No, no, it says wire, man. It's wire. Better horse tail. Don't be daft, man. What's this now, then? Horse tail. Oh, horse hairs, is it? Where do you get this, then? Horse. Horse. Oh, horse, yeah, well, ask a daft question. Oh, made it, did you? Made. Well, well, now then, that's not bad. Now, that's not bad at all. Fair dues. There's more to you than meets the eye. I've got to give you that. Yes, that's good. That's very good. The only thing is, you've got to get rid of that knot, see, because it stops it drawing tight, and you won't kill the rabbit that way. Oh, I, I not kill. Not. 
kill Rabbit. <laughs> Not hurt Rabbit. Well, the grazing's good enough. A field over there is planted with a cereal by the look of it. And there's a walled garden. The soil there should be pretty good. What about cows and pigs? Well, you can use the outbuildings on the other side for a sty or a byre, or even a stable. There's no reason why we shouldn't have horses. And Price is right, Abby. This place is defensible. We can withdraw in it. Might even find an old well. Even if there isn't, we can always dig one. Hey, Barney boy! Look at this! It's, it's a clump of carats, man! Oh, boy, let's see what else we got here, huh? Here we are, Barney. Look at that. Potatoes. Good boy. Good boy. Potatoes. Who says no music fits? <laughs> it's worth a try, isn't it? Oh, you, you are Crazy. bad. Yes, you are. You're bad. You're so bad. 